In today's episode, we'll show you how to pick up your pace. It's a very useful skill which will help you save time without sacrificing the quality of your work. Hi, my name is Connie, and this is a channel dedicated to the art of nail styling. Today, we've prepared an episode on how to speed up your salon work. Products and tools we'll use in today's episode are Clear Self-Leveling Protein Gel 120, White Self-Leveling Protein Gel 90, Princess Effect in a Bit of Glit, a 180 grit sanding band, a 100 to 180 grit file, a cupcake brush, cleaner number one, acid-free primer, indigo gel brush two in one number six, wipe off cleaner, tip top top coat, cuticle bit number eight, and bad icon body mist. A messy workstation is a big mistake. I don't mean a lack of hygiene because that shouldn't even be a topic for discussion. It's obvious. We should follow all the health and safety rules. But there are naturally messy stylists among us who love to create amongst the chaos. Now, listen, not in this industry, not on this workstation. If there's no order, if you don't know what's where, if your drawers or tabletop are drowning in stuff, don't count on speeding up your pace anytime soon. You can't waste time wondering where everything is. Moreover, if you want to perform certain actions on autopilot, reaching for cleaners or brushes without looking, then you have to know exactly where they are. And this starts with order and methodically laying out your tools the same way every time. So that even if woken up from a deep sleep at 4 a.m. in the morning, you'll be able to describe exactly where everything on your workstation is. We set the e-file between 15 and 20,000 RPM and use the sanding band to shorten the nail. We hold the tool down at a 40 degree angle and work from left to right, pressing the tool slightly into the free edge. We can also minimize the edge from the bottom, which will lift up the nail. Using gentle, pulsing motions, we pat the underneath of the free edge. We continue working with the sanding band and focus on the product left over on the nail plate from the previous design. Using right-left motions, we move across the entire nail plate. It's important to reduce the e-file speed here to a maximum of 15,000 RPM. We can turn the finger sideways and check if the product layer has been minimized and that there are no air pockets left. Now we'll work on the cuticles. We move the e-file speed into the 5 to 8,000 RPM range. We start from the right and gently remove the cuticle residue from the nail plate. We repeat the motion a few times until it's all gone. We slide the bit gently across the nail walls until the cuticles are pushed up. Using a pushing motion, we repeat the movement by the fold. We can touch up any unbuffed areas once the cuticles are removed. Our motions should be gentle with little pressure. The bit should glide freely across the nail plate. Today, we'll work with an e-file and a 180 grit sanding band. And to further speed up our pace, we'll use self-leveling gels, which are designed for people who want to work fast and with comfort. Thanks to such speedy work, we have time to create a simple yet absolutely unique design. And that's what it's all about, to work as quickly as possible to make our client impressed with not just the final effect, but also the speed of our service. We reach for the file and using the 180 grit side, we give the nails their initial shape. We hold the file parallel and gently file the sides. We use the cupcake brush to dust off the nail. We dehydrate the nail using cleaner number one and apply acid-free primer. Using the indigo gel brush two-in-one number six, we rub a small amount of perfect base into the nail plate, then cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. We apply a small amount of the clear self-leveling protein gel 120 onto the tip of the nail. We sprinkle some princess effect in a bit of glit onto the nail art palette. We pick some up with the gel brush and place it evenly across the nail plate. Then cure in the lamp for 15 seconds. We repeat the action. Add a bit of gel, place some princess particles and cure again for 15 seconds. We switch to the white self-leveling protein gel with a viscosity of 90. We clean the brush against a dry wipe and use the white gel to create a slip layer. Then place a bigger ball of product in the undecorated area of the nail. Using gentle, calm motions, we spread it perfectly across the nail, 
remembering to shade by the free edge. We cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. When placing decorations onto clear gel, we can work across all five nails at the same time, which will speed up our work even further. When we switch to building the white surface, we need to cure each nail individually. We go back to the clear protein gel. We place a small ball by the free edge and give the nails a perfect shape. This will minimize the need for filing. Then cure in the lamp for 30 seconds, remembering to work one nail at a time at this stage. We wipe the nails with wipe off cleaner, set the e-file to a maximum of 15,000 RPM and using the sanding band, gently file the nail surface. We start from the nail fold, holding the bit at a 45 degree angle. We move through a flat motion, then flip to 45 degrees again at the free edge and file off the excess product. We move on to the side walls and even out the top edge. We switch to a normal file now and work with the 180 grit side to even out the edges of the nail. Using the cuticle bit number eight, set to the speed of 10,000 RPM, we remove any excess cuticles by running a pushing motion across the nail wall. We repeat the motion if necessary. We don't press the bit into the skin, but allow it to glide freely. We dust off the nails and wipe them with wipe off cleaner. We secure the design with tip top top coat and cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. Remember that tip top doesn't have a dispersion layer. So all we need to do is wait a little bit for it to cool down from the curing and the styling is ready. To finish off, we can rub some body mist into our client's hands. We chose bad icon. We remove any leftover emulsion with a pad and are left with soft groomed and fragrant skin. All done. This is what our styling looks like. A princess style design doesn't have to take much time at all. And that's the end of our episode. Let us know in the comments below what your pro tips to speed up your work are. Thanks for watching and see you next Wednesday. Bye.